So again, if you just logged on, please make sure you get yourself some blocks or a paper towel roll that you can use as a block. And make sure that your chair is secure somehow on the mat. And we will be using the wall today for a little balance challenge. So if you have a wall nearby that you can still see the screen, that's helpful. Don't worry about that now because obviously I'm not asking you to move a wall closer to your screen. We'll uh, work on that. You can still work on my cues if you're not able to see me visually. So come to sit comfortably in your chair. Let your feet connect with the ground. Lift your toes up, spread them wide, and then bring them back down slowly. Really root into your feet here. Press so that you can feel the movement travel up to your knees. And then sitting firmly in the chair, lengthen your spine, and let the shoulders come slightly back as the belly pulls in, and you can sit really tall. Chin should be parallel with the ground and your gaze soften in front of you. Let's take an inhale breath through the nose and a slow, conscious, soft breath out the mouth. Really let all of the air come out. Take it slow, no need to rush. Take that same breath again. You can close your eyes here and begin to really feel the connection between your breath and body. And that slow, long exhale. One more, just like that. And let it all go. As we focus on our breath, we tune into a deeper sense of listening. And Richard Freeman, who's very big in the yoga world, said that yoga begins with listening. When we listen, we are giving space to what is. And in our busy, loud lives, we don't really listen. We might hear, but are we truly listening? Usually, the music is on, the television is on, and even when we go for a quiet walk, we slip on headphones and we get on our phone. We really are so used to the sounds around us being loud and being explosive that we forget what it means to listen to softness. And it's almost like we can't do without it. I know when I'm in the shower, I've got a whole dialogue going with other people, with the store, where I'm going next. It's very rare that I'm truly, truly quiet and listening to whatever inner feelings or stirrings might be happening. And I heard the acronym WAIT, W-A-I-T. Why am I talking? I love that one. How often do we just talk because we think we're supposed to? But sometimes what we need to do is sit back and listen. Because the louder we make the surroundings around us, the less we're able to listen. We lose that skill. And sometimes we don't pick up on things that our own body is telling us. But yoga brings us to that place. There's no sense of loudness. There's a sense of inner wisdom that comes from that quiet listening. And like Richard Freeman said, we find space the space to know what we truly need at the moment. And throughout our practice today, I'd like us to listen more to the whisper of our internal being than the sounds of the external. We're gonna start right now with finding our pulse in the wrist. If you take the pads of your index finger and middle finger and place them below the thumb on your wrist, See if you can find your pulse. If you can't, no worries. You can listen to the sound of your breath. But I'd like you to explore something a little bit different today. And maybe you can find that pulse. Everybody's is, is different. Some is loud and some is more obvious depending on where you find it. But if you can find your pulse, I invite you to close your eyes here and stay for a few minutes with listening your pulse. 
just knowing that there is something going on internally that's creating an internal sound that, no, we might not hear with our ears, but if we listen close enough, we can learn. And no need to find words to describe anything here, just sit with the sensation of the pulse against your fingertips. Let your breath be soft. And then bring your hands to heart center. Let those fingertips touch gently. Take an inhale breath through your nose. And this time, let the exhale come out the nose as well. And if that's com comfortable for you throughout the practice, continue to breathe in and out the nose. Taking your awareness right now to the fingertips again as they lightly press against one another. Inhale through the nose. And with your next exhale, tuck your chin down towards your collarbone. Release the hands to the thighs and gently flutter open the eyes, coming into the presence with a new awareness of listening, of stillness, of quiet. Inhale, lift the arms up to the sky, gaze up to your fingertips, and exhale, take the elbows out to cactus. Inhale, listen to your body here, lift up, feel the rib cage rise away from your hips. And as you exhale, take those elbows down, keep the hands in line with the wrists. Inhale. And on this exhale, take the hands behind the back body and maybe take hold of your opposite wrists. If you're too close to the chair, just shuffle yourself up, holding on to opposite wrists here. Inhale, lift just the chin, and exhale, bring the chin down to the chest. Inhale, chin lifts. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, chin lifts. Exhale, chin to chest, and this time round down. Keep your hands behind your back if that's okay, and let the crown of the head come down towards your thighs. So round the shoulders forward here, holding on to your wrists. And then inhale to come up. Release the hands, float them up to the sky, palms facing one another and then exhale, slowly float them down. Let's take hold of a block here or the paper towel rolls. And take it on its widest angle here. Press the palms into the sides of the block and reach the arms forward. Let the shoulders come away from the chest as though you were trying to hand the block like a plate to someone in front of you. As you inhale, let the shoulders roll back so the shoulder blades connect behind you. The block comes slightly closer to your chest. Sit nice and tall here and keep the belly tucked in. Reaching forward again with an inhale breath. And exhale, bring the block closer. Exhale, reach it out, and this time keep all that length and rise up with the block. Reach up as far as you can. See if you can push the block towards the ceiling and continue to press in with the palms of your hand. As you exhale, take the shoulders directly out in front of you once again. Now this time, line the shoulders up 
right above the rib cage where they would ordinarily sit. And then bend the elbows, draw the block upward. Keep squeezing here, so elbow to elbow, parallel. And then exhale, reach it forward. Take that again. So really continue to squeeze, feel the forearms working here, the biceps, the triceps, the entire arm. Take that one more. And this time, let's lift the block up again. Reach the fingertips towards the sky. Continue to press. Bend the elbows and take the block behind you. See if you can hug the elbows in while pressing palms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. One more time. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Now, keeping the arms in the sky, make sure your hips are planted. We're going to take small circles as though we're drawing the letter O on the ceiling. So the circles are not starting out big. That takes control to keep them small. Notice the belly pulling back as you circle back to support you. So we'll take a few more in this direction. Continue to press into the palms. Don't lose the energy there coming to center, and then taking this the other way. Sometimes it seems more comfortable to be big and loud and bold, and it's harder to be small and soft and gentle. Coming back to center, let's bend the elbows, release the block, place it on your thighs, and roll the shoulders back. Release any tension and then roll the shoulders forward. Take your left forearm and place it on the block. Take your right arm and reach it to the sky. Press down with your forearm to lift the arm up. Option to bend the elbow and bring the back of the hand behind your back along your waistband. If you've found that space, Rotate your right shoulder up by pressing into the left forearm. Listen to your body. Listen to what's happening, where it feels movement, where it feels right. If the arm is on the back, lift it to the sky once again and lower it. And we'll take that the other way. The more we listen, the more we find out what works for us. Right forearm to the block. Left arm sweeps up to the sky. Checking in here, if we have the space, bending the elbow, taking it behind the waistband. And if the arm is behind the back, can you make a bit of a connection, pressing into that arm to rotate the left shoulder? And perhaps you take your gaze with you. If the arm is behind the back, inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Let's move the block out of the way for now. And lift the arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, fold forward with a round spine. Push the spine toward the back of your chair and let the arms dangle alongside your legs. As you inhale now, lengthen, float the arms up, keep a long spine. So taking an exaggerated cat-cow here, pull the belly in, round the back, long arms, float down to your feet. And then as you come up, the head comes first, the back lengthens and the arms sweep towards the sky. Take that one more time, tuck and roll, and lengthen and lift. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms, press the sky away, and then take the hands to the base of the skull here. Open your elbows wide and drop your head back. Come just to center, release the arms out into a T and flip your thumbs downward. Press the walls behind you away, lift your heart to the sky. And then sweep the arms low. 
Let's start with hands at heart center coming into our sun salutations. You can shift your weight more towards the front of your chair here. Inhale, lift the heart space. And as you exhale, let's round that back once again and slide the hands down the shins to the feet. Inhale, find your length here, press into your shins and reach the crown of the head away from the hips. Round on down. Inhale, sweep arms upward to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's take that again. Inhale, gaze follows the hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Keep the left hand down. Sweep the right arm up and open. Exhale to lower. Sweep the left arm up and open. Exhale to lower. Inhale, sweep arms wide, big sun circle. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale to cactus. Exhale, slide on down. Inhale to your half lift. Exhale to fold. Left hand stays, right sweeps. Exhale to lower. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, lower. Inhale, sweep both arms up, big sun circle. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let the hands come down to the thighs. Take your block once again. And let's place the block under the left foot. So place it on its highest height. I'm gonna shift that uh, view for you in a moment so we can make sure that everybody can see where we're going with this. So we're gonna step that left foot on top of the block. And the block is at the higher height here. Knee is deeply bent and come to sit towards the edge of your chair. Extend the right leg, heel on the floor, toe up. Shift your body to face the extended leg and think about the knee facing the ceiling. So the toes are flexed and facing upward. Inhale, lift your arms. And as you exhale, bring that left shoulder inside the knee. So reaching forward here. Inhale to rise up, keeping a long back. Use the support from your belly. Exhale to come forward, fingertips reaching away as though it's taking them towards your feet. Inhale up. And exhale this time. Let the body come down. Maybe here is where you end up. Maybe your arms come down towards the direction of your feet. Let the back round here, gaze towards your shin or knee, and then inhale, use your core to rise up. Exhale, release the hands down. Take that same extended leg, bend it for a moment, and then we're going to extend it at a 45 degree angle. So make sure you have your hands on your chair, open up the leg. So we have a nice 45 degree angle with the right leg, left knee staying right where it is. Take your left hand down to your shin or your ankle. Open up the right arm. Nice open twist here. And let's reverse that. Take the right hand to the ankle and the left arm to the sky. And let's take that again with breath, taking hold and inhaling to open the right arm and then switching hands, opening the left arm. One more time, switching hands, using breath, listening to the inner wisdom of your own body, and then lower. And come on up, slide that right foot in, and we'll take this on the other side. So shift the block over to be underneath your right foot. Again, the highest, if that is a little bit too tense for you, if you're listening to your body, you can always lower it so the knee is not so deeply bent. You need to know what works for us. This yoga is our practice and it's very, very individualized. 
So extend your left leg, heel on the floor, toes flexed towards your shin, knee to the sky. Inhale, nice long spine, keep the length here and take the right shoulder inside that right knee. Reach for something in front of you, press into your feet, find your foundation below. So the feet are active here and the belly is drawing up and in, supporting you as you reach forward. Inhale up. And this time, moving slowly, finding your length and then allowing yourself to maybe release downward towards your feet. Press into the feet, use the core, come back up. Exhale, release the hands down. Slide that left foot in and then slide it out again at a slightly wider angle. Inhale, take the arms up, and then take that left hand down to the right ankle. Keep the right arm up to the sky. I know on the other side I started with the opposite twist, but it all works the same. Right hand down, left arm up. We started with an open. This time we're starting with an inner, but the listening is from the inside anyway. So however you float, left or right, right or left, it's what's happening inside that matters, not what we're looking at on the outside. And taking it one more so we're even on both sides. And then lowering the hands, sliding up, slide that left foot in, bending the knees, and take the leg off the block. Move the block out of your way, take hold of the chair, and then just take some little side dips left and right here. You can linger on one side if it feels right, or move them back and forth, just releasing whatever tension might be there. And then sitting nice and tall, separate the feet again, turning them out to a 45 degree angle. Let's take the block here and place it on its medium setting on the inside of the right foot. We use the block to keep us lifted upward. Now, once we come down into the pose, you can always shift the block higher if you feel you need more length. So we'll start with it at medium and see where that takes us. Take the back of the right hand inside and the left hand to the hip. As you exhale, slide down to the block, press open the shoulder, and then place the right hand on the block. You might need to tilt it upward a little bit further, and then lift the right arm, sorry, left arm, but press into the right hand to reach the arm to the sky. So we've got opposition here, pressing into the block and lifting up with the left arm. Beautiful. Now take that left hand to prayer at your heart. Take that right hand to prayer at your heart and come back to center. Take this on the other side. So bringing the block here, knowing what you know, what height is working for you today? Right hand to hip, left hand to inner knee. Slide your way down, press the back of the arm into the hand to rotate your shoulder first. Then place your left palm on the block and open the right arm to the sky. Press into the palm, lift the chest skyward, reach the fingertips away. Bring your right hand into prayer, bring your left hand into prayer and come back to center. Take that right elbow down to the right thigh, press into the prayer and rotate your left shoulder. Now working through the side body here, inhale, find your way to center. Take that down the other side. Listen here. Take a moment to listen to your body. Find the space and come back up. So we're not working with hurried movement. We're going to take that moment to find what adjustment is necessary and where we maybe feel something more deeply. Listening and noticing.
inhale to center. Exhale, release the hands down. Move the block out of your way and then toe heel the feet in. I'm going to take the right leg over the left, hamstring to thigh. Now here's where the block can come in. So either sitting in a cross-legged position or with your side of the foot on the block. Sorry, actually the sole of your foot on the block. You still want your knee upward. So whether you're completely crossed or you're using the block for a little bit more elevation, find that nice cross-legged position. And the foot that's on the floor is really keeping you stable here. If you have the block underneath your right foot, that's a little bit more additional stability. Take the arms out into a T and wrap the right under the left, finding eagle pose. Backs of the hands can touch, or you can take genie arms here. Inhale, lift up towards the sky, let the shoulder blades drop back and the elbows reach up. Exhale, round the back, exaggerate the moment, bring the elbows in. Inhale, come up. Exhale, really round, taking that cat pose with the back of your spine. Inhale. Exhale, draw your elbows in. Inhale, coming just to neutral. Elbows are right out in front of the shoulders. Notice that they're dipped down. See if you can lift them up even just a tiny bit. And then let's take a twist to the right. Inhale, center, twist to the left. Inhale, center, release the arms, unfold them, palms face back and press them away. Release the hands down. We're gonna slide the ankle on top of the thigh. So you might wanna draw that foot on the floor back slightly, find a bit of space. If this is too intense, Block is right there for the side of your foot. So wherever you are right now, that right knee is dropping down towards the ground. Just opening up your hip flexor here. You can take your hand and add a gentle bit of weight, slight bit of movement. And then take hold underneath the foot and the knee. Gently lift it and rotate it left and right. And then let's extend that leg out, make a hammock with your hands underneath, support the hamstring, support the back of the thigh and flex and point the foot. Make circles in one direction and then the other. Now draw the knee all the way in, sit up nice and tall, keep hold, pull the knee in towards the chest, breathe, 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 and then lower the foot. Pedal this out, make a few moments, you can tap out the thighs. And let's take this the other way. So the left leg's going to cross high up into a cross-legged position, moving your block if you're using it here for a little bit of higher foundation. Arms come out into a T, left arm under right, finding our eagle arms today. Elbows come right in front of the shoulders, whether you're in genie or whether your hands are crossed. Inhale, take the fingertips and the elbows up. Exhale, round the back, elbows in. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, elbows in. And this time, come to neutral. Take a moment to listen. Lift the elbows gently higher so they're in line with your shoulders. Take a twist to your left. Inhale, center. Twist to your right. Inhale, center. Release the arms, really expand them wide. Flip the palms, energy through the fingertips, and then press them back, lifting the heart and chest. Release the hands down. And we'll slide so the ankle connects with the thigh. Make whatever minor adjustments you might need. Foot going to the block, 
bottom foot shuffling in, and then taking that hand and just gently opening here, feeling some more sensation. And then taking hands underneath ankle and knee, the slight lift and a rotating left and right. Interlace the fingers underneath your thigh, extend your leg forward and flex and point the foot. Make some rotations here, toes of painting, beautiful sunset. And then take this the other way. Use the hand, draw the knee and sit nice and tall here. And then slowly lower it down and shake that out. We'll come to stand. So we're gonna take the block first and place the block between the thighs, not at the knees and not all the way up. You just wanna place it midway between the thighs. We're gonna place it in the narrowest part, not the wide, the narrow part. So make the connection here, really squeeze. And, and notice how my feet just moved in. My feet are not together, they're directly underneath my knees, but I'm drawing in foundation and sensation by squeezing that block. Now walk the feet back so they're behind the knees in a more of a Z position. Not here, step a foot back and continue to squeeze through the block. You can use your hands on the side of the chair or you can place your hands on your thighs. We're gonna take a little bit of a hover here. So before we come up, think about engaging from the center of your body. That's your support. The chest will stay lifted and the hips will hover off the chair. So whether hands are Velcro to thighs or on the side of your chair, pressing into the feet and squeezing the block, just lift the hips up off the chair. Keep your chest lifted here. Take another breath. You've got this one more inhale and exhale and slowly lower yourself down. Take a moment to notice here. Let's listen. Did you notice a little bit more action in the inner thighs with the block than when we've been doing this before? Take that pause to listen. Taking the same move again, if you'd like to experiment with a different sensation, you can move the hands. Engage first by squeezing the block, pull the belly, press into the feet and hover once again. This time begin to press into the feet, keep the hands where they are, or if you're on the chair, take them to the thigh and slowly begin to stand up, continue to press, press, press into the block. Beautiful. Keeping that connection with the block, lift the arms to the sky, take hold of your right wrist and take a side bend. Squeeze into the block here. Inhale to center. Take the left wrist, side bend. Inhale to center, release the arms down and take the block from your legs. Take it overhead, <clears throat> so lift the block up. Squeeze into it. I don't wanna to go too far because I'm gonna to need to adjust this again. And let's make some side bends here, starting to the left first. And then lower it down, take a little bit of a sweeping move, move here and come up on your right. Come to center. Take it down on the right. So we're making like a semicircle, coming forward with the block, pressing in and coming back up again. Take that one more time, going to the left first, continue to press into the block. A little bit of a balance challenge here. And one more to your right. And come up to center. Let's release the block down. We're coming to tree pose. <clears throat> what I'd like you to do is find a wall. I happen to have one conveniently right here. 
So place your arm on the wall and you're going to be standing about two feet away so that your body can be straight. The arm is at an angle and it's above, your fingertips are above your head. So notice how my arm is higher. It's not straight out as a T, it's lifted slightly higher. Now, take your right leg and bring it into tree. So the tree can be at your ankle, it can be above your knee, but not at the knee joint. You can also keep the foot on the floor here. Take your left hand to your hip, and I want you to start to walk the hand just slightly lower. Press into the hand and see if you can keep the standing leg nice and straight. Now release that leg. Move the hand up again and take the left leg into tree. The reason I did both sides, take a look here. My hip is immediately moving towards the wall. We want to get that same sensation we did on the other leg. So here's where press into the hand to push the hip away. Find that length here and then move that foot into tree. Press into the hand once again and lift the chest, shoulders right above the hips. Beautiful. And then release. Shake it out. Now we have to do this on the other side. So the left hand is going to go onto a wall. If you can find that space, I'll give you a minute to get there. Again, the hand comes above the head. We're gonna take that right leg in. I'll use an imaginary wall here just for now. Sorry, left leg in. And finding your tree pose with the inner leg. Lifting the arm up slightly so that that Right hip comes in. And then lower the foot. Keep the hand where it is and take the opposite leg into tree. We tend to immediately lean inward towards the wall. So here's where we're gonna find our foundation. You can keep the toes on the floor or come up to the inside of the shin. Press into that wall to lengthen the leg and open the knee like a gate. Slowly release the leg, release the hand. Come away from your wall, face the screen again. Take your hands to your heart and close your eyes for a moment. Listen to the sound of your breath. And just allow whatever had just occurred to flow through you. Release the hands down. Come to the back of your chair. Make sure your block is out of the way so that when you, we move our legs here, we're gonna take our standing series, our warrior series. You don't want anything in the way of your feet. So facing the back of your chair, step your left leg open to a 45 degree angle. Bend the front knee. Take a moment to Pull back so that the knee lines up above the ankle, not towards the toes. It's not how deep it is. It's the sensation of found foundation of pressing into that front foot. Lift the arms to the sky, warrior one. Chest faces the back of your chair. And the option here to always keep one hand on the back of the chair for support and extra balance. Let's exhale and spiral open into warrior two. Reach the fingers in opposition here. A little bit of a balance challenge. Flip the front palm, send the left hand down the thigh and take the palm over the ear. Follow it and maybe look towards your palm. If you need the balance, keep the hand on the chair and you can still take this peaceful warrior. Inhale, rise up into warrior two. Take the front hand to the back of the chair, sweep the back hand and come up onto the ball of the foot. We're coming into our high lunge here. Option to keep the foot lowered to the earth for extra support, or if you're on the ball of the foot, let's find that warrior one once again.
lower the ball of the foot and open up into warrior two. Flip the front palm and find peaceful warrior. Coming back to warrior two, front hand down, back hand lowers towards the floor, sweeps us up, and maybe you can take that in one move and find your warrior one. Lower the front hand, bring the heel to the ground and open up into warrior two. So here's our last flow. Listen to what your body would like to do. Maybe you want to linger in a place a little bit longer than another, or maybe you feel the sensation of movement and breath. Lifting the arms once more, and then lowering the hands to the back of your chair. Bend your chest towards your thigh. So you're coming into more of an angle here. The body wants to go forward. We're gonna shift the weight into that front foot and stand up nice and tall. Pedal out the feet. And we'll take this on the other side. So finding our chest and hips facing the back of the chair, nice tall posture. Right leg comes back at the 45 degree angle and the chest is still facing the back of the chair. Coming into warrior one and think about drawing those shoulders back and down here. If you'd like to add a little bit of a back bend, chest lifts up, arms come in line with the ears. Exhale, spiral open, find warrior two. Flip the front palm, back hand comes along the back thigh and we go into peaceful warrior. Press into your feet, rise up into warrior two. Lower that front hand to the chair, sweep the back arm low, pivot to the ball of your foot, warrior one. Spiraling open to warrior two, you can place the hand down or just keep them open. Flipping the palm to the sky in the front, taking peaceful warrior to the back of your mat. Finding warrior two once again, lower the front hand, sweep and pivot, warrior one. High lunge actually if we're on the ball of the foot. Our last round is totally yours. Listen with breath. Find stillness if that's what works for you right here. We'll all eventually meet in a high lunge facing the back of your chair. And then lower the hands to the back of the chair lower the chest to be parallel with your front thigh and then step the foot forward. Shake it out. And then standing at the back of your chair, let's take the legs as wide as your chair legs and then turn the toes out. With an exhale, bend the knees and come on down to goddess pose. Lengthen the spine here, roll the shoulders back, keep the chest above the hips. Press into the feet and come up. And see if you can come down like that without rounding forward. Think about lowering from the pelvis towards the floor. Now option here to take an arm to the sky or both arms to the sky. Take an inhale breath, and as you exhale, press into the fleet feet and float the arms down. Let's take that again. Inhale, rise and bend. Exhale, lengthen and float. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Take the hands to the back of your chair. Turn the feet forward and toe heel them in till they're hip distance apart. 
Let's step that left leg back, keeping it at the same angle, hip distance apart. Both feet are facing the back of your chair, no turnout here. Both legs are straight. Come down to your forearms. Take an inhale breath and then shift the right hip back and the left hip forward. Slight, slight, subtle movement. And just notice here. Did you listen to any changes in the body? Do you notice something slightly different, maybe in the feet, the legs, the hips? And then walk the hands up and step that left foot forward. Take that right foot back. Short, wide stance, both legs remain straight. And walking one forearm at a time to the back of your chair. With your exhale breath, this time you push left hip back and right hip forward. Subtle movements, subtle, soft adjustments. And then walk the hands to the back of the chair once again. Lift on up and step the foot forward. Take a few moments, pedal out the feet. And then keeping the feet hip width apart, we're gonna roll up onto the toes. So keep the hands on the back of the chair as well. And as you roll up, notice if that, we, we worked on this with tree, that subtle movement that kind of makes us sway in a different direction. See if you can lift up from the ankles into the hips and into the chest. And then slowly take that back down. So the only thing that's really moving here is the feet and then the slight bend in the arms as you come up and lower. Come up again. And lower it back down. One more coming up slowly, no need to rush to get there. And this time come down just as slowly as you went up. And then step to the front of your chair. You can take your block here again and place it on the seat of your chair. Even if you don't usually use a block for triangle, let's use one today. Let's find a little bit more space and inner wisdom in our practice. So place it on the seat of your chair. You can put it at the lowest height, which is where I have mine right now. And step between the chair and open up your right leg. Turn that right leg to a 45 degree angle, just a slight little adjustment of the foot and turn the left toes all the way to face the back of your mat. Take your arms into a T. Take the right hand, sorry, left hand down to your block and lower the right hand along the side of your leg. Turn the thumb up and out and let that shoulder rotate back. Now reach the arm up. So press into the palm of your left hand to reach up and find length from fingertip to fingertip. Now let's take that right hand back to a prayer, left hand to a prayer and rise up. Take the hands to the hips, turn all 10 toes forward and shift the weight from the right foot to the left. Let's take the left foot out. Left foot turns at a 45, right toes all the way to the back of your mat. Arms come out to a T. Take the right hand down to the block and then lower that left hand alongside of the body. Rotate the palm to the sky. So work the thumb outward. Let that left shoulder open up here. And then maybe follow the palm as it reaches up to the sky. Press into the bottom hand to lift the top hand to the sky. Reach and reach. Take that left hand into prayer. Let the right hand join it and press up to center. Take both hands to the hips and turn all 10 toes to face the front. Shift your weight and step together. Pedal out the feet. 
And then let's take the block away from the seat and sit back down. Take the block on the medium height and place it in front of your feet, just about a foot in front of you. So like the length of your own foot or a little bit more, more of a 12 inch gap. And make sure that your ankles are right below your knees here. Take your hands to your hips. I'm gonna do a little bit of core work here. So lift the right leg and tap the block. Lift the leg and lower. Lift the left leg, tap the block, lift and lower. Pause. Do you need to slide the block out further? Do you need a little bit more distance or height? Take a moment to readjust that block. Maybe you need to turn it upward, or maybe you just need it out a little further. We'll, we'll play with that now. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, tap the block. Inhale and lower. Other side. And we're not adding speed here. Speed again rushes us forward without listening. And the control comes right from here. You might even want to place one hand on your belly and just notice what's happening as you do the toe taps. We'll take one more on each side and finishing up. Take your hands right back to your thighs for a moment. Walk the feet together. Squeeze the thighs without the block. Roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift the arms to the sky. Let the palms touch here for a moment. Reach the fingertips upward. And then with the back of the hands facing the ground, slowly, slowly, slowly lower them down. Keep the fingers spread wide. Be open to whatever it is that's out there for you. And keep the arms just as they are. Keep letting them come down. Fingers spread wide, palms facing up. And then flip the palms to face you. Press the arms down towards the earth. And then take the hands once again back to the thighs and allow yourself to start to walk back on the chair. Feel the back of your chair and feel the support here. Start to nestle in. Maybe move the hips gently. We're going to come to stillness, to Shavasana. So take a moment to position yourself with complete support and surrender. Lift the feet again like we started earlier. Lift the toes and very slowly let the feet lengthen on the ground. Feel the support beneath you. And feel that support. Travel up through the legs, into the thighs, and then spread the hips on the chair. Let them sink in, sink down, as though you were sitting on a soft pillow. Let the hands relax on the support of the thighs. The elbows soften alongside your body. The shoulders resting downward, the neck long, the eyes closed and soft, the thoughts steady, the breath soft. Gently listening to the sound of your own breath. Or perhaps imagining your heartbeat. The steadiness. The gentleness. Be 
Begin to deepen the breath. And slowly invite gentle movement into your fingers and toes. Really awakening with a listening, with a gentleness, with a new inner awareness. And then with your eyes closed, bring your hands to your heart center. Let those fingertips gently connect. Let the palms press into one another. Feel the pinkies and the thumbs. Keeping your eyes closed here and your awareness inside. The humble listen to their brothers and sisters because they assume they have something to learn. They are open to correction and become wiser through it. May sun shine down upon you, may love fill your heart, and may your inner light guide you on your way. And may you take this practice, this softness, this inner wisdom, and share it with someone else who may be in need of ease of heart or ease of mind today. Thank you for being here. Namaste.